One of the great things about the Sensil Morph is that you can have a single control send out multiple MIDI messages. Uh, this can lead to some really creative effect control. Uh, but it also can make it hard to uh, learn all of the CCs to a software program. So in this case, I'm sending out CC 20, 21, and 22 with my X, Y, and pressure on this pad. And if I try to learn those in Ableton Live, it's not going to be able to differentiate the X, Y, and Z. It's just going to pick one. And so it can make it hard to attach these to effects or parameters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first uh, turn off Y and Z. And I'll send that to the morph. And I'm using preset 7 in this case. Um, and so go back to Ableton Live. Now, in this case, I'll just select operator. It doesn't really matter uh, what we do for this example because what I'm going to do is, the first thing I do is group it. Even if I'm only, only using a single thing, I'm going to put it in a rack. That gives me macros that I can then decouple from what's inside and then easily just map these to the macros and then map the macros to whatever I want to control. So I'll put this in MIDI learn mode and select my preset 7. And there, now I've got 20. Go back to the Sensil app and turn off X. And I'm going to have to do this for each one um, because the software does not really give me any other option. Uh, I'll make Z22, so send that to there. And now I can go back to Ableton Live and uh, I need to select my preset 7 here, and now that's 22. And uh, now we have to do that for Y. And while this can be a bit cumbersome, the nice thing is, is using the racks uh, like I do it means we really only have to do this once. And then we can make our changes as we see fit. And finally, here. Uh, back in action, and there, we've got 21, 22, and 20 all mapped to our macros. So let's go ahead and restore this the way we wanted it originally. And then we can use these in Ableton Live to control our effects. And I'll send that to Morph. And come back here, leave MIDI Learn mode, and select our preset 7. And we can see that we're controlling those macros. And then we can go ahead and map what we want to those different macros. And control them. interactively. So that is how you use the XYZ controls, whether it's on the Thunder or on anything else that you're using uh, in a software that does MIDI learn.